Hey everyone, it's Jules here, and today I'm going to be doing my first makeup tutorial, and it's on this green kind of look that I have on, and it kind of, I love the color green, and so I just thought that this was going to be a really cool look. So, here we go. On this eye, I've already done this eye because I actually was wearing this all day, had to wait till I came home to make this video, but you can see it stayed on really, really well, and... I already did this eye because it's harder to do with this in and I want this video to go by as fast as possible so that you can go out and try it. So let's get started. First, I have this wonderful palette, the 88 color palette by BH and we're going to use this green right here. And I'm using a concealer brush. Sorry if that's like a huge no-no for you guys. Oh yeah, I don't know if I already told you this, but I'm already wearing a base. It's um, Urban Decay Primer Potion, eyeshadow primer potion. It's in Sin, which is like a sparkly nude color, which I like because you don't have to wear anything over it. But you can wear any type you want. <laughs> but I would really suggest using a base because as you can tell, that hasn't faded. So let's start with this. <sighs> that color. And you're just going to put it on the corner, like right to a very, very small bit above your crease. You're just going to bring that to a little bit outside the middle. Just a little bit into your crease. Alright, so back to what I was saying though about the concealer brush. Sorry if that's a huge no-no for you guys, but I really feel like to get all the pigments on, this really holds a lot of the pigment, and it's easier to press it down. So use whatever brush you want to use. I don't really care. <laughs> You'll probably end up with the same results anyways. But anyway, sorry, my camera is going crazy. So then, we're going to use the same brush. I'm just going to wipe it off a little bit. And we're going to take this kind of limeish green right here. It's a few shades lighter. And we're just going to put a little bit of that into the middle. It's like a stripe. Just kind of pat that down in the middle. And you really don't want to put that much on because we're going to be going over this later. Then we're going to take this little brush. This is like an eyeshadow smudging brush. But I really like it for doing the inside corners of my eyes, especially with light colors that I don't want to get my other brushes dirty. So we are going to take this light green right here, this like lime green. Just take a little bit. <coughs> Sorry. And you're going to want to go in the corner of your eye and bring it up right here. And just put that right there. So you just have a really nice vibrant color. You can't really tell that there's a lot of different colors. Um, but I think that the different shades really look nice all together. And now, we can take just a big fluffy brush, wipe off any excess. You're going to want to do your foundation or whatever you put on your face after you do this. <coughs> Sorry. Or else it's going to stick. So for our last thing, we are going to take just some cheap, um, like a pearly, green eyeshadow. This is really light. This is NYX. We're going to take a big fluffy blending brush and we're just going to take a little bit and we're just going to lightly put that over the middle, over that middle color that you put in that was kind of like a mix between the lime green. Oh shit. <laughs> that had too much stuff on it. Um, and then you're just going to blend it a little bit into the crease. So perfect. Color wise, we are done. And now it's time to line those eyes. So I just have my basic eyeliner, CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus. I really like this because you twist it up. <laughs> it looks like I'm stabbing myself in the eye. But yeah, I am I used to waste my pencils a lot sharpening it. So we're just gonna do a basic line.
and then I always wing it out. You guys can do your eyeliner however you want, but I always like to wing it out. And then you're going to connect it to the bottom. And I always line the bottom. If you guys don't like to line the bottom, don't. And then we're going to line the lash line, I mean the water line. I think it's really important to do this. Once again, you don't have to if you don't want to. <coughs> there is just something in my throat today. And connect that to the outside. So basically here's our lined look. The shadows are kind of weird in my room right now. I like a lot of black eyeliner, so if you could, if you don't, you could always just ease up. But we're almost done. You can see that this has this really cool color to it. And now we're just going to finish off with some mascara. If you want to wear fake eyelashes, go for it. I, if you guys have watched my videos before, <laughs> you know I'm not exactly the best at that. But we have some CoverGirl Exact Eyelights. I like this brush because it has plastic. It's like plastic. So it gets the, um, I find that it gets... The lash is nice and separated and long. I always do the bottom, but if you guys don't want to do that, don't do it. A few coats. And there you have it. Here is our green look. Zoom in on that. See the nice three colors. So I really hope you guys like this. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I would like to make a shout out to some people. I've had a lot of good fans who have been very loyal. And one of them is Ben's1369. Thanks for all your comments, girl. I'm glad you like my videos. And also to Nick Knack. You're in my, in my brain, girl, in my prayers. Because your hair, I'm so sorry about your hair. I had a hair accident a while ago. So I know how you feel. And I hope everything works out. And also, also, Maggie Baby, I know I already shouted you out, but I just, I really appreciate you guys as fans. Thanks for all your wonderful comments. Thanks for the subscriptions. If you want to see any looks, if you want to send me a picture of an inspired look, let me know. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.